as you can see here, uh, we're looking at my Michael Jordan signed Concord 11. Um, big fan of sneakers, obviously, and getting them autographed, which involves Sharpies a lot of times. Um, not every shoe is perfect, though. Uh, this is a Derrick Rose signed Adidas uh, Michigan colorway. Pretty dope. Uh, sort of some Derrick Rose stuff. But the thing is, when you do autographs or even uh, have someone sign your shoe at the end of the school year or something like that, you're doing cartoon Air Force Ones, it's big to be able to erase, and this is how you do it. As you can see, there is some residue above the signature. Um, this is my test sneaker, only because the autograph was a little worse than um, the other shoe. So I felt like if I mess this one up, at least I still have the good version. As you could see uh, on the bird's eye view here, there is some scarring above Anthony um, where he signed that last name. I'm going to point to it here. Right there, that was due to the hairspray. So I was testing my different hypotheses. I hope that's the word. Um, hairspray, off, and I found that off active spray was actually a great solution. The hairspray worked, but what happened was it was scarring the leather, and I'm not even going to try and fix that because it was it's a little scarred, but at the end of the day, it's really not worth a fix for me. Obviously, if uh, it's a shoe that you're going to be wearing, maybe it is. Um, but yeah, that was me testing. Off active spray definitely was the superior um, in terms of testing. Now, um, it did say Danny above the sneaker. It was to Danny. That was the ball boy, I guess you could say. Now I'm switching over to the other shoe, the nice autograph. This one's beautiful, isn't it? And it has, I feel like Steve Irwin. Boy, crikey, it's beautiful. Rest in peace. His son does a good job, though. Um, but yeah, Danny's on this sneaker as well. So now I'm prepared. I'm not going to use the hairspray. The Sharpie actually is the Sharpie um, used on the sneaker. It was from Lala Anthony. So that was super dope as well. But yeah, I'm just going to work on taking that Danny right off that right side. It's actually a lot easier than the other one because it's separated from the autograph. Off active is the solution, man. Let me tell you. It seems silly, but it's going to work, and we'll show you it working. There's the other sneaker. As you can tell, outside of that scarring, there's really nothing you can see um, left over. Just the, not even residue, it's the damage from the hairspray. And I don't know if that varies in hairsprays, but I wouldn't do hairspray. That's only if you're desperate, if you can't find off. I see a couple of you in the comments that say we can't find off where we're at. Um, just take a second to admire this Carmelo Anthony sneaker that gets no love. Um, but yeah, we're going to take Danny's name off. It's going to be beautiful. It'll be a nice piece to have in the collection. Just take your finger and spray right on your finger. Don't do a whole uh, big area because obviously you're looking for a precise spot to uh, cleanse here or remove. So as you can see, the Sharpie's already coming off on the towel. That's a good thing, okay? A lot of people were saying, it's smearing it. Well, you want to smear it because if it's not smearing, it's not coming up, okay? So you could see this is the process. I'm taking it slow with you guys. Um, still on that little fingertip. Don't spray a big area. There's no point. So stay with that finger and just precisely scratch away at it. Um, not too hard, obviously, especially if you're using a leather sneaker. As you can see, it's still on the towel. I'm going to go back to that finger. New area, though but the finger size because I'm trying to get this little area without affecting the Carmelo Anthony signature. Okay, and see, I'm scratching it here instead of like just wildly wiping because the end of that Anthony is right there and I don't want to affect that at all. But right now, this one looks terrific. Compared to the other shoe, this one was, obviously it's the second time around, so I did a much better job. Um, no scarring of the sneaker because I didn't use the hairspray and it just looks terrific in my eyes now I'm a New York Knicks fan so the NY above if I can't scrub this NY off of Danny it is a little darker for whatever reason um, but if I can't scrub it off at least it just looks like uh, New York Carmelo Anthony to New York which he eventually did play for the Knicks um, actually had a really good career there no championships as we know no rings but he was loved by the New York faithful. Um, so as we continue this process, it's kind of a tedious process, but at the end of the day, you don't want to rush through it. 
it's very important you're uh, precise and not in a rush uh, as we said and I would just keep going over the area even if you don't see anything as long as you're using the off there should be no leather scarring once again if you're using hairspray I would be very very gentle and even then uh, man it's not the best solution and it will most likely leave some scarring so this um, sneaker looks pretty good actually I'm I'm impressed with the results because I was just trying random products I didn't know what was gonna work I had no previous experience in doing so but I do have a couple products that I need Sharpie off so I'm pretty impressed with how this one turned out um, the good sneaker and the not so good sneaker the test sneaker worked but this one really looks nice and this Sharpie as we mentioned before this is Lala Anthony Sharpie um, that was given to Mello I guess she carries her own um, for him to sign with I'm not sure what that's about could be germs whatever who knows but at this quarantine period it actually seems like a pretty smart idea to be carrying around your own sharpies if you're gonna be signing autographs as you see I'm just wiping the area make sure everything's uh, kosher and clean now at the end of the video I did find this leather moisturizer I don't know I think it was my sister's from coach so I'm going to try and restore the leather that I did mess up because of the hairspray uh, but we'll see how that turns out on the right is that off active that's the mosquito spray you want for the job I know it works I showed you it works um, don't try other things I just I wouldn't risk it a lot of us we pay a lot of money for our shoes so it's very important that we use um, use products and if you do use this leather moisturizer I have this q-tip I'm gonna try who knows if it's gonna work um, but yeah I would definitely use off active for this even though that's not its main purpose it does serve as a sharpie removal system on leather uh, I would think it would work on purses too or any other leather products you have I would try it on you know uh, different materials but I wouldn't expect it to work as well but that's just me being kind of doubtful I'm all behind this product though in terms of removing sharpie from leather it worked terrifically I'm very proud of my shoes I think they look great now without Danny's name I can finally showcase them without someone saying oh who's Danny you know and Carmelo Anthony did a lot for the franchise the New York Knicks even though these were from his days in Denver but I, it's just a shoe I cherish and now even more that I don't have to look at um, the Danny on the side you could tell that scarring in the leather is still there um, not as bad definitely not as noticeable from far away the other sneaker is far superior as it was in the beginning but it just looks looks really good Carmelo's first autograph rookie year and first couple years was really nice it's um, succumbed down to just a C and an A now which is kinda weak but sadly it's better than a lot of autographs that we have if you've made it to this point in the video please like subscribe and I'll see you guys really, really soon with a bunch of different tips as well as ball family information.